Alright guys, here's uh, just going to show you a quick video. Um, I mean, I'm going to surface this head. The, I showed you this head was surfaced by a belt sander. And belt sander is pretty rough, but you guys already seen that. So uh, basically just getting it set up in the machine here, what we do. Um, this is a, a CBN surfacer, so it uses a carbide puck um, for surfacing. And what we do is we set, uh, get the head parallel in here. Sometimes we have to use the cheese board, which is uh, right there. Um, so you can angle it back and forth. But I'll, there'll be videos with that when we're doing um, heads that aren't flat or parallel like this one is. So, getting everything tightened down here, kind of play around a bit, but we're, see if I can show you guys a little bit here. So it's zero there. Hard for me to focus in, but. Yeah, zero there. And then you bring it around on this side of the head. And it's awful close to five thou out. If you come to the other side of the head, it's like three and a half, and then pretty close to one. So as you can see, the head's not flat at all from, now granted some of that was probably from being that it blew a head gasket, but I just like to show, you know, when you're doing stuff like that, yeah, it can be done. And you know, that used to be industry standard it was actually a big belt sander years and years and years ago. How to do them it was more for stuff that didn't take multi-layer head gaskets. Um, because uh, multi-layer head gasket is a lot more finicky as far as um, what it wants. What it wants for uh, an RA, which is the roughness of uh, the surface. So I got that pretty close. This is actually just, um, I don't think that the head is going to be any good because it's got some cracking in it. So you could probably run it, but I'm hoping to get the customer to replace the head with a different head. Um, I just wanted to show you guys um, what, what, like why we use a CBN surfacer, what the point of resurfacing. So now that I got it level, as close as it really needs to be for what we're doing here. I'm actually going to take our layout die, which I use quite a bit, and I'm going to coat the top of the head in layout die just because I want to show you guys when you take a little tiny cut off the top of this, done with a belt sander. Now I'm going to have to let that dry for a minute. Done with a belt sander, it, uh, you'll actually still be able to see after my first cut and maybe my second cut, you actually will still see 
a line from the belt sander. And in the layout die. Hard to see in the camera, but you can actually still see the striations from the belt sander in it. Sorry guys for the bad light quality. We had a couple couple lights in the shop go out on us. And the uh, light's not as good, but I'm gonna have to get some uh, some better lighting for uh, some later videos here. Just that way I can do a better quality video for you guys. This is just a really um, light, light pass. I just like to do a super light pass on the first one. Best that I can anyway. You can see it cut almost all the way across the exhaust side and not across the intake side, but you can still see the marking die where it's actually going through some of those the, the lines from the belt sander. So what we'll do is uh, we'll take some more take a more cut off here now. Uh, see what it looks like and also too when we're when we're too, cutting aluminum to get a real nice finish on it we actually use pan cooking oil for a lubricant um, and it keeps uh, aluminum pickup and, and that kind of stuff off of the, the cutter makes it beautiful um, you know, like uh, depending on some heads some heads don't ever come out in a uh, mirror finish just depends on the, the type of material they're made out of but. so Another one thousand cut there. And being, uh, like I said, on the multi layer head gaskets, you want your head, if you're having that, if you're doing head gaskets, you want the head as close to absolutely perfect as you can get it because if you have a little bit of distortion in the block, you're allowed to have so many thou of distortion there the head gasket will take it up um, the issue is is let's say you have three thou distortion on the block and then three thou distortion on the head now you got six thou of warpage or distortion whichever you want to call it now at that point the head gasket is not going to last because it can't take up that much space so if the block itself isn't perfect then the head being perfect 
helps immensely as far as that goes. So you can see it coming across there and it's still not, you know, we're probably at a good two and a half. This is a, this head was, was a finished head. Like he wanted to bolt it on, but he needed it pressure tested. And you can see where it's still got that low spot in there. And I'm, I'm about two thou off right now. A good two thou. The first cut is kind of a, it's a, educated guess on how much exactly how much you're taking off it, you know if you're not taking reference usually what we'll do is we'll take reference um, and actually measure the actual thickness of the cylinder head but with this one it was just just showing you guys uh, the process but you can still see you know like there's still that much that hasn't been touched yet so you know like this area here where coolant's going through you know that's a low that's a big low spot right up enough here that's uh i'd say about three and probably three and a half thou that we've cut off so far just get the person's money like lots of people think they think oh i don't need to do that you know why am i wasting my money doing that i can just put it back together well you know some people get get away with it never have an issue don't get me wrong and i've even done it before on personal stuff but you know when you're not getting a super awesome awesome quality job Especially when you take some of the stuff that, you know, it's a lot of work to get it out. Like to do the heads on this, on a Subaru is a lot of work or on a lot of diesels. And, you know, there's a lot of labor involved. Even if you're doing it yourself, your time is worth something. You know, for, we, we charge, now we're in Calgary, Canada. Um, we charge to spray wash. So you spray wash it first, spray wash it when it's done. And to surface, you're $125 a cylinder head. Uh, might vary uh, you know as far as where you guys are but why not just do the job and it be done properly you know what you got so you can see see there there's a little tiny spot there left you know i probably take another out cut on this I'm not gonna bother just for the you know like I said it was just for filming purposes that I, I wanted to surface this head off but you can still see you know it's still not completely cut across that head actually you know what I'm gonna take another cut just to so we're gonna be at pretty close to six thou off this head that was already finished to make it surf to make the surface flat Looks like it's going to take it almost perfect on the very outside edge. I'd be happy with that. Let's see what it comes. I, I don't know if you can clean this up right off, too. You can actually. 
actually still see the where the sanding marks were in there. Yeah, it's pretty much pretty much right off. Perfect. Just crank this up. See if we're going the opposite way, speed her up. Yeah, and there you go. So, you know. You know, and you can see the surface. You can see the shiny, you can see the lights in the surface. Like I said, it's not like a mirror finish. Some of them come out like mirror, mirror, but I, you know, it's a really nice surface. It's nice and flat. You won't have issues with it. You know, just, you know, spend your hard earned money once, guys. You know, why do it twice when you don't have to? You know, time is money and, you know, you got things that you want to be doing. Well, if you like the content, uh, please subscribe, um, like the video if it uh, if you found you know that it helped you out. Um, you know maybe in your next adventure or you know the next time you have to have your car fixed. Um, you know it, it, it's well worth the money in my eyes. You know whether or not you bring it to us or somebody else. Uh, you know I just like to see it being done properly so that you're not doing the job more than once or having issues. So have a good one. Take it easy.